Issei is your typical, perverted teenager. He has two, typical, teenager friends. Kuo Academy was once an all-girls high school until recently when it changed to co-ed. Issei and his two friends are the first few to enroll as a male student in the academy. We get a glimpse at Issei's daily routine. He and his friends are peeking into the locker room of the girls' kendo club. They are caught in the act, but the risk was well worth the trouble. After, Issei locks eyes with a beautiful, crimson-haired girl falling in love at first sight. But such strong feelings are cut short when he receives a love confession from another girl on his way home. The next day, the two go on a date. Having an amazing time, Issei can't help but to feel that he has met his one true love. But at the end of the day, Yuma reveals that she just wanted to seduce Issei, trample on his feelings, and then kill him. Yuma reveals that she is a fallen angel sent to eliminate Issei before his secret power awakens. Issei has no idea what she's talking about, and doesn't even have a second to think as Yuma ends his life. As he bleeds out, Issei feels betrayed, regretting his decisions in life as it led him to a death, before losing his virginity. But moments before his death, Issei thinks about the crimson-haired girl, and unknowingly summons her before passing out. Issei wakes up the next day in his room and is surprised to find that none of his friends remember Yuma. He is also surprised to see that all calls and texts with Yuma are completely gone. At night, he also notices that he feels more agile and stronger, on top of being able to see clearer in the dark. When he visits the site of where he thought he died, Issei meets another fallen angel, Donaseek, who also attempts to kill him. Donaseek fails as three girls, one of them being Rias, rescues Issei. The next day, Issei wakes up with Rias next to him. Rias wakes up and explains that she reincarnated him and that she is his master now. Issei has no idea what in God's good graces is going on. Before he can fully appreciate the view, his mother walks in. But she just apologizes, runs down to Issei's father, and tells him proudly that their son isn't the loser that they thought he was. Rias explains that she is a devil, and has reincarnated him as a servant. Later, Issei is visited by Yuto in his class, another male student at Kuo Academy. He escorts Issei to the Occult Research Club, which is a secret cult for devils. He meets two other members of the club, Akino and Kaneko. Rias explains to Issei about the great war between the three factions comprised of angels, fallen angels, and devils. She explains that there is a constant battle going on between the three factions. Since he was reborn as a devil under the Gremory clan, Issei is now a part of the war. She adds that all of the Gremory clan, which are all servants under Rias and in the room before them, are now Issei's brothers and sisters. While on his way home, Issei is confronted by another fallen angel, Kala Warner, but was able to fend her off after he gains the ability to harness the power of his sacred gear. <laughs> The next day, Issei runs into a nun, Asia. After she admits that she is lost, Issei escorts her back to the church. On the way, Asia displays a healing ability, which upon witnessing causes Issei to have a queasy feeling as he is now a devil that can't take the sight of anything holy. He gets even more queasy when they get near the church, so he drops her off there. When he gets to school, Rias explains to Issei that the church is an enemy's base and that being friends with Asia is being friends with the enemy. Later, Rias and group deal with a stray devil who killed its own master. She uses this time to explain how each member of her clan can upgrade their rank during battle like pieces of a chessboard. Starting out as a pawn, the user can upgrade into a knight, bishop, rook, or a queen with powers increasing in strength in that order. The group easily deal with the crazy devil lady. Sometime later, while on another mission, Issei is confronted by Freed, who serves the fallen angels. Freed seems to have the upper hand, but Asia intervenes. Freed easily dominates her, and toys with her to make Issei angry. Issei tries to make a stand. He is still too weak, but Issei is able to hold off until Rias and team arrive at the scene. Since they are in enemy territory, the group decide to retreat without fighting. Before they do, however, Issei tries to rescue Asia and bring her with them, but the transportation circle only works on the Gremory clan. The next day, Rias uses her magic to help Issei recover his wounds. While exercising, he encounters Asia and the two decide to go on a date. The two have a great time together, and Issei can't help wondering once again if she could be his one true love. At the end of the date, Rainer appears and starts a fight with Issei, easily defeating him since he still doesn't know how to use his power. Seeing that he is no match, Asia agrees to go with her in return for sparing Issei, to which Rainer agrees. After she is taken away, Issei returns to the clubroom to get help from Rias to rescue Asia. Yudo and Kaneko go with Issei to the church where Asia is being held, 
while Rias and Aquino deal with the trio of fallen angels who were tasked with guarding the church. Kaneko and Issei rank up to a rook rank and force Freed to flee the scene. The group is too late, however. They head to the basement, witnessing the final moments of Rainer stealing Asia's sacred gear and killing her in the process. Having her sacred gear extracted, Asia's life starts to fade away despite Issei begging her to live. At her final moments, Asia thanks Issei for being her first friend, which greatly saddens him. Heated up by Asia's death, Issei challenges Rainer to a fight. Issei begs his sacred gear for power, and for the first time, it answers Issei's plea, increasing his powers and taking Rainer out in one blow. Witnessing the change in his sacred gear, Rias explains how it is overpowered as it has the Red Dragon Emperor sealed within it. Rainer tries to seduce Issei to spare her life, but Rias isn't having any of it. Rias also brings Asia back to life as a devil, returning her sacred gear, and Issei is excited to have a nun in his harem, an accomplishment that few harem kings are able to achieve. Later, Rias has Issei undergo basic training to improve his stamina and physical fitness. After finishing his training, he is surprised to learn that Asia moved into his house. Issei's parents are totally cool with it, happy with his popularity. Rias decides that it is about time for Issei and Asia to get their own familiars. Rias and the others then reveal their own familiars but are interrupted when the student council arrives. Rias then reveals that the current president of the student council is also a high-class devil and hails from the Citri clan. Both Rias and Sonet introduce their new servants to each other as Issei and Saji start a new rivalry amongst themselves. After arguing about who should get their familiar first, the two clans decide to have a tennis match. However, the results remain inconclusive as their match ends in a draw. Rias and Akino discuss what match they should have next before finally deciding to have a dodgeball match. The dodgeball match ends with the Gremory clan winning. On their search for a familiar in the familiar forest, Issei passes on the first, which turn out to be muscular women. He encounters a sprite dragon next, but decides to choose a slime instead due to its impressive skill set. Notice the slime's unique targeting capabilities as it only deals damage to the most important opponents. Rias exterminates them however, much to Issei's disappointment. He tries to protect the last few slimes, but the baby dragon destroys the rest of them. The baby dragon takes a liking to Asia, forming a bond as she names it Rase. Later, Issei dreams of marrying Rias which indirectly leads him to get in touch with the red dragon in his sacred gear. At night, Rias suddenly appears in Issei's room, asking him to take her plot out of nowhere. Before Rias can continue, a new figure appears and interrupts them. Rias tells Issei that she has to go. As she apologizes while giving him a kiss on the cheek, Issei wonders why Rias had such a sad look on her face. The next day, Issei meets Riser, another high-class devil from the Phoenix clan, who is also Rias' fiancé. The Gremory clan can only watch as Riser displays his misogynistic ways, acting as if everything and everyone in the room is his property. Rias and Riser then have a dispute due to the disagreement caused by Rias' blatant refusal to marry Riser, as it would stain both the Gremory and Phoenix clan's names. As the dispute escalates, Grafia offers mediation terms, proposing them to sort out their differences through a rating game, to which they agree. Riser introduces his team, and despite hating his guts, Issei can only feel the utmost respect for Riser as he has achieved his dream of becoming a harem king. However, Issei gets mad when Riser shamelessly flirts with Yubaluna in front of Rias, showing that he doesn't care for Rias despite being his fiancé. He challenges Riser to a fight, but is quickly put down by Mira, who is the weakest member of Riser's clan. As Riser and his clan leave, the Gremory clan wonder if they even stand a chance. 
Later, the group trained to prepare for the raiding game. All the members are capable. Kaneko and Kiba for close quarters combat. Akino and Asia with their magic. However, Issei is useless and weak as he still doesn't know how to harness his power. But later, while imagining Akino's plot, he realizes that he can tap into his demonic powers using his perverted imagination. At night, Issei practices with his new realization, and when Asia shows up, Issei learns his ultimate technique. The next morning, Issei has a sparring match with Kiba. Having trained rigorously for 10 days, Issei's efforts pay off when he manages to power up his boosted gear to use Dragon Shot, causing an entire mountainside to be leveled. The group make final preparations and prepare mentally as they wait for the raiding game to commence. The Gremory team is then transported to another dimension where they see a replica of the school. After finishing their preparations, Issei and Kaneko head to the gym where they are confronted by four of Riser's servants. Noting the strength of the rook, Kaneko decides to battle it out with Shuelan, leaving Issei to deal with the three pawns. Kaneko is disgusted by Issei's dress break, deciding to walk ahead of him, only to be taken out by a surprise attack from Riser's queen, Yubaluna. Issei challenges Yubaluna but is stopped by Akino, who proceeds to fight her in his place. Issei regroups with Kiba, while Rias decides to face Riser with Asia. Kiba fights Carlemine while Issei fights Isabella. <laughs> Defeating Isabella after using Dress Break once again and landing the finishing blow with his Dragon Shot. Seeing that Rias is at a disadvantage against Riser, Issei hopes to be more useful, allowing his boosted gear to further evolve. He is able to merge his power with Kiba, amplifying the power and allowing them to take out their remaining opponents. The victory is short lived, however, when both Akino and Kiba are eliminated by Yubaluna. She doesn't even bother with Issei as he used up all his power. After promoting to queen rank, he heads for the rooftop with his remaining strength, but his body has reached its limit as he used too much of his power. But Issei won't give up. He stands up with all his might, unwilling to see his one true love taken away. Riser pummels him non-stop, but Issei still won't fall. Rias looks on and can't stand the sight of seeing Issei suffer any longer. She throws in the white towel, ending the ranking game with Riser's victory. More on this story based on demand. Smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks for your support.